Hi, I'm Derek from Good Times Marine, and this is the Formosa Bow Rider. It's the 675, and if you think this is big, they do a 715, and then they do a 755, which is absolutely colossal when you think of it being a trailer boat. Now, we all know that when you take a boat and you put it in the water, it suffers from shrinkage. They get smaller somehow. There's no physical evidence for this, but we all know the truth. They always get smaller. So when you're in a boat this big and it looks huge on the streets, when it's in the water, it feels just right. And that's what we're about to do. Take this down the water, do the sea trial on it, and see all the features and the good stuff it's got. Now, this is powered with a 250 Pro XS Mercury. So we reckon we're going to have smiles on our dials. It's got so many horses there, there's going to be no complaints. So let's get down the water and check out what this boat's got to offer. So when Formosa built this model and designed it, they had in mind the idea that a family that loves fishing, loves boating and doing everything can actually do that out of a complete package in this boat. So you've got the weightboard tower, but you'll notice on top of the weightboard tower, you've also got rocket launchers. So you can store your rods up there. Access can be a little bit tricky. You're going to have to stand up on the side of the boat to get to it. But needless to say, you've still got the access up there. The same thing from a tow point. You've got your tow point in the middle there for doing weightboarding or water sports. And then from a fishing point of view, you come to the back of the boat, you've got this fantastic bait board, you've got your deck wash system, you've got a hand wash system off the side of the boat as well. So it's fully equipped for everything you could possibly need. There's also the kill tank under the floor, uh, which gives you plenty of room crossing it over. You can fill it with ice and put, put drinks in there, or obviously you're all amazing fishing people, fill it up with all the fish that you land. The 675 is standard with Pro Deck. Now what that means is it's got a full welded floor in the boat. Now that also gives you the advantage of having a self-draining deck. Now the floor in these boats sits up fairly high above the chine, so you're actually above waterline. So when there's water in the boat, it just naturally gravitates to the back and it comes out the scuppers at the back here. So it's a great safety feature, especially if you're doing offshore work with your boat. The Pro Deck also gives you the advantage of a choice of surfaces. You can run this nice comfortable carpet in here or the option of running checker plate or if you wanted to, you can run a smooth aluminium finish and then finish that off with a foam flooring like Sea Deck or Ultralon. This boat comes with a 220 litre fuel tank. It's got a five mil bottom sheet and a four mil side sheet. So it's a very strong construction. Now with one of our other videos, we've shown how the internals of the hull are put together. The structure as it sounds to hold the hull and the floor. If you check out that video, you'll just see how much engineering is involved in making these boats come together to make them as strong as they are. Quad four ballast is also something that you just put in the boat. It's just a no brainer. That ballast system really helps with that stability at rest and keeping the boat very, very stable. As you see, this is just like a big concrete slab on the water. It just doesn't even move. Underway, this boat's just solid. It's, you can really feel the benefit of the five mil bottom sheet. It just feels like a massive armchair driving down the water. It's incredibly stable, very comfortable. And admittedly, it's a very calm day today. We've got zero movement on the water. But it doesn't matter, the boat just feels tough and yeah, you know that when you do punch it through some rough water, you're going to feel the benefit when you're offshore, having the incredible structure that the Formosa boats are built with and obviously the overall benefit of having that 5mm bottom sheet. The big statement with this boat is definitely this weightboard tower and it's got a lot of uses, a lot of function. It's a hard top, which makes it very convenient and it feels solid to be able to, to grab and hold and it's a permanent sun protection for you. It also folds. So you've got these bolts here. If you just release these bolts on both sides, there's a hinge point here, which allows this whole hard top tower to fold back into the main cockpit, which lowers that overall storage of the boat if you need to get it in under cover somewhere. The dash is really well put together. Physically, you could probably get a 12 in here, but I don't think you would do it. The twin nines are a really nice touch. You've got plenty of room here. You've got plenty of screen. You can still split these screens. So it's more than enough to work with all the information you would need to make the boat a safe journey and a, a comfortable journey with what you can put into here. Um, plenty of room for switch panels. You can put more of those in here as well, VHF radio. It's just a good generous amount of space here to be able to set the boat up just the way you want it. If your family's list of to-dos on the water is massive and you're hunting around for a bow rider, a boat that will do everything, the Formosa range of bow riders has got to be on your shopping list because they're big, they're strong, they're very, very capable and they're very, very flexible. They give you so many options to, to do whatever you could possibly want to do on a boat on the water and I think you'd be very impressed when you see the quality of the build as well. So if you're in the hunt for a great family bow rider, come down to Good Times Marine and we'd love to show you through the Formosa range of bow rider boats.